Hello everybody, Sifri again with another Vampire Survivors run and today I will be doing a lowest level possible challenge. Now uh, we don't have Magnet, we don't have Luck and we don't have Growth. Growth and Magnet obviously because we don't want to pick up XP but Luck because we also don't want to pick up Vitium and uh, other items you get are based on your luck so having less luck is better for not picking up good items. Now uh, we will go with Red Death because this character is the one that made me do this thing like the idea stemmed from the fact that this character exists because he has 332 max health so you can run through opponents and not die instantly and also because he has more movement speed so you can avoid a bunch of things and also because he starts with a legendary weapon so you can clear out enemies so everything here points towards self-sustainability i was also thinking about clarissi because he starts with insane aoe and then with your uh, santa waters you could clear out the area while avoiding things but at some point that's not gonna cut it and then you're gonna die well movement speed should keep us alive and i'm gonna do this on the mad forest because there are items on the ground on this map so they will also help us a smidge with uh, sustainability the items are pretty much only like hollow heart and pomerola and if we roll them because there is a good chance we're not gonna find them as I do have the luck reduced. So um, there's that, I guess. And we found the whole heart right away. So let's take that and let's run down for the Pomerola. And uh, after that, we're pretty much done with items too. Because <laughs> those are pretty much the only two items we have access to. Let's pick up the gold, because why not? Let's avoid everything else. And then I will start running, by the way, only towards the right or the left. Or, you know, some cardinal direction. Most likely left or right. As... Uh, as I have more air vision on left and right, so I can more easily try to avoid things coming towards me. Although that doesn't make sense really, because going up or down means you have more area to swivel to, as you have a bigger AoE to avoid. Mm. I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, from here on out, I will only be running downwards anyway, because I only need the Pomerola from this map. This map also... Uh, does this have XP inside of it? I'm afraid to go there. Does this also... I, I'm First of all, I'm getting surrounded. I'm not sure if that thing had XP inside of it. So I'm gonna avoid it. I'm avoiding everything. Uh, that might have been a free chest, but it might also not be. That's why I'm avoiding it. And we got a garlic here, which is good for us. Let's also avoid, in general, item drops. Because if something goes sideways and the vacuum is in the item and I pick it up, well... That's that's pretty much the run, not doing what it's supposed to do. Let's continue running downwards. I hope I find the Pomerola, honestly. Really hope I find the Pomerola, because HP regen is going to be something very important that we're going to need. But um, it's it's not going to be a guarantee, so can't really do anything about that. I think we, did, we already passed the point of Pomerola being a possibility. As far as I know, it's like... Seven, maybe six. Uh, downward after the. What is it called? After the. Um, hope we got XP already. To avoid everything. Also, try to synchronize when I throw the axes. So that when the axes get spawned, I'm not close to opponents. So that I don't get XP. This is actually going pretty decent. Okay, Pomerola is no longer a thing. There is no chance we're gonna get Pomerola. That's going pretty well. well. By the way, there is no rush for me to actually traverse any distance. I can just stay in one spot and try to avoid. But the thing is, I'm also trying to avoid having XP close to us. As that will hinder me on... Oh no! Well, we picked up more XP. No, 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 Well, my, uh, my breathing room on not making mistakes is slowly... Yeah, we got a level on this. Uh, I will go with Laurel here. And uh, we are level 1 already, level 2 I guess. I'm pretty sure there will be some people that will do the same challenge and, you know, be insanely better than me at this. But uh, I'm trying my best. Maybe when we end this we're 5 levels, 2 levels, I don't know. I think the combination of criteria for this challenge would be minutes plus XP. For example, if you... I don't know, I don't know what the criteria would be. But what is more insane? Being 2 level... Being level 1 when you... At, at the, first of all, obviously the best possible score is level 1 at 30 minute mark. Obviously. Uh, by the way, we were really lucky that we got Laurel here on the item, on the level up. So yeah, as I said, best possible score, obviously, is... 
um, level one at 30 minute mark but uh, if for example if somebody is at the dies at the 25 minute mark is it more exciting if he was level one like is it more exciting to be level one at the 25 minute mark or level no no level one at the 20 minute mark or level two at the 25 minute mark like what of these two is harder to achieve i don't know i think i think like the time i don't know you know what this is just people compare their numbers anyway <laughs> i guess the most exciting one would be to hit the 30 minute mark in general and then try to calculate what is more important yeah i think i think time is the first part of this because if if you are if you died at the 24 minute mark as a level one i think it's it's harder to go to the 30 minute mark as level two so let's have the 30 minute mark as a marking point and let's first see if i will actually survive through that and um you know what i think i will just say that if you get to level five the challenge is invalid yeah let, let's go like this because if you're level five at the, no 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 okay if you're level 5, you have really failed at this. As I already gain XP extremely slow. Do you see how slowly XP I get? I think most of these, whoever does this challenge, should be level... I don't know. Up to level 3 makes sense. After that, you are actually picking up a bunch of XP and levels. Yeah, let's let's say... Yeah, let's say if you, if you get to level 4, so you can get up to 3 levels. If you, if you get to level 4 then um, the challenge is pretty much a fail and at that point just mark down your timer and that's where you got to make sense obviously completely avoiding everything is possible if you know what you're doing and if you're not stupid sift running into things but um yeah this is still going well this is still going well <laughs> now pretty much everybody that was here for the challenge is like yep nope i'm out this is not the challenge i wanted to see <laughs> but sift you said lowest possible level challenge and you're not level one literally incoming things you know what honestly speaking now that i think about it this should be a level only uh, up to level three challenge yeah you know why because at some point at the 25 26 27 minute mark at some point we will get so much surrounded that there is no possibility of us to not level up so i will say if you get to level three the challenge ends that's the most lot not three level four if you get to level four the challenge ends you have pretty much only three lives you have three chances to level up so this thing is yeah like getting two items should not really be that important if anything you can get Cla clock lancet and laurel and uh, you know what whatever weapon you get is gonna make it worse anyway so or how fast the xp is what i mean yeah, I think we're gonna be level 2 for the rest of this, until we get completely surrounded. Zigzagging through everything here. As you see, we are getting a bit more surrounded. That was an extremely dangerous mass of opponents coming close to us. As you see, we need to zigzag here a bit more and run through... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Maybe I should change the rules again. <laughs> Maybe you can get up to 5 levels. No. No. Maybe running towards the left is better. Testing time. Testing time. Ah, maybe it's a bit better. No. No. Oh, no, I got a level. Uh, I'm gonna go with reroll here. You get passives, perfect. And we're gonna go level up on the whole. You know what? Level up on the pentagram. This thing erases everything anyway. Yeah, pentagram is good. Could have gone whole heart, obviously. I got XP again. My own rules are gonna do me in. My own rules. Yeah, the moment I throw the axes is the moment I should be trying to avoid everything. Like I only have to avoid everybody on very specific timings. And those are when I when I drop an axe. No. Otherwise, I should not have any problem with this. Now we are actually level three. I know, I know. People can min max. I know speedrunners exist. I know that people have the ability to do a challenge a thousand times and come out of it. 
I'm pretty sure some person is gonna appear at some point and do a video that is uh, a zero level, zero uh, 3D minute video, whatever, and then they're gonna get like a million views or something. But uh, I don't care. I, we are going for the, for the meme ideas here first and for the complete successfully doing those second, I think. <laughs> also, this will take a lot of time of my schedule and I'm trying to, you know, maintain a good schedule. Life work balance, as they say. Okay, now these opponents should take a bit more to die, although we have the scythes. You know, slowly thinking about it, maybe having the scythes was not a good idea. Maybe I should have gone with any other character. But honestly speaking, this character is more fun. Like, I like this character and he's running fast and I think running fast is important. Especially in the late game when you will need to go th against the all odds and try to avoid everybody. So as I said, this is a timing challenge. The moment we hit level 4, this is going to be over. Just to point that out, so that might this might not be a 30 minute video. I'm pretty sure people can literally just look at the timer of the video and see how long this actually will last. But right now, me speaking, I have no idea. <laughs> right now, me speaking, I know for a fact this is going to be a 40 minute video. Oh, let's try to avoid this. Maybe, I don't know. Theoretically, I could try to pick up a chest, but I'm not sure if below the chest there is an XP drop. Like, if there is an XP drop below the chest, we will get leveled up for sure, especially if it's a red one. It's going to be an insta level. So I'm not risking anything here. And at the end of the day, what is a risking going to give me even? It's going to either give me max health, which is good. Actually, the level ups we have are, are all good. <laughs> Better cooldown on... On pentagram is good more better laurel is good more damage on, on spinach is not good but more max life is definitely good too so i'm not gonna risk it though i'm not gonna risk it there is no reason to see you running levels continue zigzagging uh oh this is the end whoa i got through no. The moment the scythe gets thrown is when, oh no, is when I need to be away away from everything. This is not gonna go well. It seems like running up is the easiest way to avoid x. Oh no, I'm getting actually a lot of xp. No, damn it. Uh, I'm changing the challenge. Goal post. I'm changing the goal posts. <laughs> I'm dead anyway. I'm dead. So we are we survived 11 minutes here. And then we we died trying still to avoid everything. Okay, you know what? Dying is worse than leveling up. This is so over. Like maybe I should not even move. I don't know. I there is no chance. There is no chance here. It's over. It's over. I need to run through here. It's super over. Uh, throw one. Need to go through. Nice pentacle. Okay, okay. We continue this. We continue this. You know what? I don't care. We, we're transitioning over to the lowest possible challenge run. Lowest possible level challenge run. I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over this place all the time, man. All over the place all the time. Changing opinions and stuff. Classic sift. In case you're new to this channel, that's how this goes. <laughs> Changing old posts. That's why I'm not doing challenges, by the way. Like, I, I can't contain myself on solo games. And uh, I, honestly speaking, the main reason I'm not doing challenges is because I really hate throwing away productive time. Like, yeah, I, I really hate throwing out productive time. I don't know how to explain this. I'm trying to min-max my life too. And when I do challenge runs, I'm like, yes, but. But I now literally end the video in a 10-minute mark. I don't know. It, it feels like... It feels this, this genuine. I... Am I am I shooting my own am I, am I shooting myself in the foot? It feels like I'm shooting myself on the foot by doing this. By continually playing and trying to, you know, have a more complete quote unquote content. Let's try to wow, too many opponents. Too many things, too many things. Still trying to avoid everything. Being upwards seems to be helpful. 
Oh no, we get a level here. Yep, Hiragisu, second life, nice. Bop, <laughs> instant suicide there. Yeah, I will go for the lowest possible level challenge. I mean, we are going to definitely die the way I'm playing this. So why, why would I try to end this on purpose? Might as well go with just numbers. Just see the biggest possible number we're going to achieve. Oh, let's avoid. Not that good at avoiding everything, as you see. Okay, now my, my life comes first here and not XP comes second. You know, we should have some possibility of survival here for a moment. Uh, let's see if there, if we can find like healing. Maybe that's healing. No, it's not. Let's continue running, avoiding everything. Nice. Less opponents up here for once. I like that we rolled Siragisu and we also rolled the shield and we also rolled Pumarola. Like we rolled, we rolled everything that's defensive. We were really lucky on that aspect. Every single item we found was defensive. Pentagram and Laurel, like ev everything we found was defensive. We even found the Clock Lancet, but I didn't pick it. For the Turagisu. We go pick up the chests. <laughs> A million chests on the map. No! <laughs> we were not able to see if that was healing. <laughs> Pentagram's like, oh, you found an item, I see. Let's, it would be a shame if... Destruction. Shot Realm. It's exact here. I saw the item, but I can't really stay there. I have to throw... I have to pick up the item, like, almost instantly. Ah, uh, nope. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose another revive here. It's cutting it really close. It's cutting it close. Ah, ah, ah. No. Still alive? No, we died. Did, 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 did the revive, run away from this area. We got a 1 XP dot, but it's okay. Trying to find the path. Not healing. Not healing. Avoid everybody. Going to the left. Yeah, going upwards seems to be the easiest way to avoid everything. I guess. Shouldn't going downward have the same success story? I think we're gonna die at about the 20 minute mark. Maybe maybe the 25, maybe. Nah, I, I think at the... Uh, actually, the, the moment we get like a huge... Uh, mass of opponents up here that's when we're gonna most likely die so i have failed every single challenge that i put up on my to myself completely other than the very beginning statement that this is going to be a uh, lowest level possible challenge <laughs> i mean lowest level possible it's it's not the lowest level possible because lowest level possible should be level one although i'm not sure how possible level one is especially with that skeleton spawn area that happens at some point like infinite skeletons appearing at the 12 minute mark i think 11 minute mark i don't remember when exactly that happens but still my health okay this is a very easy pattern to avoid now would be a good chance to heal up with uh, through pumarola and passive healing and also maybe find some healing maybe i would also like to find the vacuum somewhere at the very 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 end but the thing is that's never gonna happen because uh, this is a challenge run, and I prefer to literally die than pick up a... <laughs> not literally die. I prefer to lose the run than pick up a vacuum. That's how it goes. Nope. And we continue. I'm pretty sure after this, we're gonna get like a million opponents spawn around us. And we're gonna level up. Too fast. Too soon. Okay, 18 minute mark coming in. Let's see what this looks like. Zigzag around everything. Avoid everything. Let's continue. By the way, I did a poll yesterday asking uh, if you want uh, how I should play, when I should play Vampire Survivors. I guess yesterday, today, depending on how you see it. 
Like when you see it, you might even see it tomorrow. So <laughs> YouTube algorithm, yo. And um, yeah, the the vast majority believes I should just play two or three, like a few times whenever a patch drops. I agree on that. I think that's what we're going to do. And the other choices were to do challenge runs like this one. I just wanted to do a challenge run just because I decided to, like I decided to do that yesterday. So I thought about it yesterday and decided to do it today is what I mean. And uh, the, the third choice was to do a tier list. Now, I will do a tier list on this, but the main problem with this game and tier lists is that it gets like one new legendary every patch. And uh, I think I want to try to create a tier list when the last legendary drops. Because right now, if I create a tier list, it will uh, definitely get outdated in uh, a week. And um, yeah, I mean, if not outweight, if not outdated, then it will definitely need updating after a week, you know, just, just to indicate where the new item is. But uh, yeah, so I think I will try to do a tier list when that happens, when we get a million patches and we actually get a million items. What am I talking about? Yeah, when we get, as I said, new items, uh, all, all, when all all items get legendaries, that's what I'm trying to say. And, and maybe I should do a character tier list, but the new character is like added every second day, to second patch too, so... A little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. Let's zigzag around everything. Try to avoid run through opponents because why not? I'm I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm very poor up XP. And whoop, we definitely avoid that battering. Walk who? Okay. Walk who? Oh no. That was <laughs> very unlucky. You know what? I would like they added challenges in this game on, like on their own. That would be awesome. The no XP challenge, you literally just cannot get XP. Because if I could not get XP, I could have played this better. Like I, I, The problem with this right now is that I have to avoid XP. Would be nice if there was a challenge mode where XP does not drop. And, and just have that as an option for a game mode. We, we will die here. We will die. This is over. I am trying to avoid the best of my ability, but it's not like I am really uh, this type of player. <laughs> I'm most of a thinking, reading, calculating type of player. Nice, nice. No, no. These things are slowly coming towards us. Slowly. Yeah, like, uh, and also if they added a no no XP challenge, then they could also make XP. Instead of XP, you heal or something, you know, and then every XP drop would be one health healing. So it would still make sense for you to try to kill opponents and gather something. That something would be healing. You know what? I'm going to just stay here and not do anything. Moving will make everything worse. Moving will actually make everything worse. So we just stay here. You know, now that I think about it, there is a way to actually make this challenge a possibility. You kill enough opponents so that the red gem spawns and all XP gets gathered on the red gem. And then you just go in your merry way and continue playing the game like a human being. Nice. Did we change? Okay, we cannot get out of this area like at all. And these are not even dying. Oh no, how many levels did I get? Okay, one. That was lucky. Okay, now now we actually can move easier, not harder. Ah, ah maybe not, maybe not. Ah, nah. I should I should find like safe areas and then move. Only when I have the bubble. Run. Okay, we lost a smidge of life. Got the bubble back. Bubble, bubble back. Oh, they got a bubble back. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's zigzag around those. Let's zigzag around these. Let's zigzag around everything. We lost our shield. Try to maybe wait a moment to get the shield back. Nice. Nice. Maybe this is the new, no new weapon challenge. <laughs> I'll say if Pentagram is a weapon. Not in my book. <laughs> They just decide whatever you want to do, challenge. Uh, yes, I got a shield. No, I had lore for half a millisec there. 
And yeah, we died at level 7 on the 23 minute mark. Mm, I guess it's a success. I don't know. I'm pretty sure people will be able to make this do this better than me. But this is just a challenge I'm putting out on the world for people to do, you know? So you can go whatever map you want. I guess maybe the other map is better. I don't know. I went to Mad Forest because it also had the two defensive support items. Although I didn't find uh, Laurel. Uh, I didn't find Pomerola. I just leveled up and got it. So the challenge, I guess, is uh, try to be as low level as possible and try to survive as much as possible. And then you can just compare things, right? Obviously, comparing a 25-minute mark that was 10 levels or maybe a 28-minute level run... A 28-level... A 28-minute run that has gotten 10 levels. Is it better than a 23-minute run that got 7 levels? I think it is. I think it is, but uh, still, I, I have no idea how to compare these. Obviously, if you have lower level reached and, and make bigger time survives, you were better, obviously. But uh, if it's like min-maxing, if it's uh, half of this and half of that, then I don't know what would be better or worse. But in general, I don't think it matters because those are anyway self, um, self-contained self challenges. And Dev, if you somehow, for some reason, see this, I'm not sure if the, the Dev sees these um please give us challenge modes right here is it really i'm not sure is it hard to implement uh, programmatically wise like somewhere here having a challenge like do a challenge run or i i don't know where you could put it uh, I, yeah really i don't know where you could put it for example here somewhere challenges and then you click it and a menu appears and you choose what you want to tick or or here just challenges and you just tick them I don't know how you would implement them, but the two good challenges, I think, first one would be the do not move challenge, where you literally only have to remove control for, of the character. Just do that and boom, the challenge is ready already. And you can even put it in the achievements. And then the second challenge would be the no level challenge, which uh, the only thing you would need to do is make XP drops actually give you health. Or, 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 or you know what you could do? You could make it so the moment you get the level up, Instead of gaining pretty much anything, you gain healing and it doesn't go up the counter. It doesn't increase the counter. So you just keep the level up. I don't know. I don't know how you would implement this. I think the easiest choice would be to just make XP give you zero XP and then be done with it. Don't even give us healing and anything. And then if you want to make it also easier with healing, then I guess you could do that. But why would you do that? Yeah, forget that part. Just just make XP not give everything. As simple as that. And then you pick up the gems that give you XP and they just don't do anything. So we could do this challenge by not running around the whole map and trying to avoid everything, you know. And uh, also we could pick up chests to level up the Pomerola and the Hollow Heart that the map has. So in general, I think it would be nice and fun to have some challenge in this game. But uh, for now, we do our self self-inflicted ones, and I guess that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you hated the fact that, you know, I I changed the challenge uh, conditions throughout this whole thing, then comment down about it and tell me about it. I want to know. You know, Swift, I got frustrated so much when you said you're gonna stop the run when you get level four, and then you get level five, and then you get level six, and then you run around, and then you die, and then you survive. <laughs> anyway, uh. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm uh, doing this whole thing. This this bit here, the the one I'm doing right now. Anyway, 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 that is going to be it. Don't forget to join the Discord. By the way, also drop like, subscribe to the channel, also algorithm. And did I already mention that? Maybe I already mentioned that. Oops, sorry. And um, yeah, comment down below about anything you might want, ask, and also opinions about this whole challenge thing. And I think this is going to be the last of Vampire Survivors for this uh, week, I guess, until the next patch drops. And then I will, uh, you know, come back to this game as I always do whenever something new joins the game. So yeah, I just want to mention that too. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.